Hi, this is Sue Ellen Hughes from thekickstartbiz.com. Great that you've made it here today to discover what I believe is going to be hot online in 2012. Whether you're the owner of a business, an aspiring entrepreneur planning to start a business in 2012, or working for a large corporate, it's impossible to ignore the online and social world we now live in. The problem is there's so much happening online that it can be hard to keep up. During this presentation, I'm going to share with you my predictions for what's going to be hot online in 2012. You'll discover how to get a jump start on the competitors by focusing on the next big trends instead of being one of last year's Me Too's. So let's get started. As a business owner, there is so much to do. As an aspiring startup, there's so much to learn. For business owners, the internet provides huge opportunities to reach customers that would otherwise not be possible. But it's a rapidly changing landscape that can easily become a time and money waster. I talk to a lot of people who are completely overwhelmed and struggling to keep up to speed with what they need to do to grow their business, especially where to focus online. They understand that the internet is critical to their growth plans, but there are so many changes and developments that it's hard to keep up and even harder to work out where to spend their time and money. 2012 is here. So what's in store for you in 2012? Where are you going to spend your time and your marketing budget? What's most important to your business right now? Is it increasing leads, so growing your community, your mailing list, your database? Is it about increasing conversions, getting more people to buy your products and services? Is it earning more income, perhaps thinking about increasing your prices or adding more value and targeting better customers? If the answer is everything, then you've got a big year ahead. Focus and action will be important for you. I'm going to share with you some of the emerging online trends that you should be aware of and thinking about as you head into 2012 particularly if you want to stand out and get a jump start on your competition. Now, I'm sure none of you are surprised to see that 90% of the population are online. And you may have seen the study that was done last year by Deloitte, The Connected Continent, where they shared some of the some interesting information. Um, one of those was that 92% of higher income households use the internet and they're heavy users of the internet. So, you know, what that means for anyone doing business online, they're the sort of people that you want. You want people who have got money to spend and to spend online. 10.6 million Australians uh, are Facebook users and of course as you probably know 80, 800 million uh, people globally use Facebook. Yet only 50% of Australian businesses have a website and many of those are not good. A website is still the starting point for doing business online. It's online real estate. You've got so much more control over your website than you do on other platforms like Facebook or Twitter or Pinterest, which is becoming a popular one. Are you one of the 50% who has a website? If you do have one, is it a brochure style, just providing information, or is it a sales style where people can actually buy from you online or contact you to make a purchase? How many visitors do you get to your site? What do they do when they get there? How do new customers find your site? What are you doing to get your website ranked number one or number two in Google? Let me share a few things with you. It's becoming harder and more expensive to get visitors to your website using traditional methods such as advertising. In the good old days, it was relatively easy. There was less competition, but now it's getting harder and harder. As you can see on this uh, diagram here, unless you are on page one of Google, in fact, within the first few listings in the unpaged search, then forget it. 
you can see on this graph how the click-through rate, so how which um, listings people are clicking on, how that really tails off the further down the page and through the page as you go. I mean, think about it. When was the last time you ever clicked through to page two? You'd be lucky if you even scroll to the bottom of the page. Google makes approximately 500 search changes a year. That's an average of two every business day. It's impossible to keep up with all of those changes. But these changes are designed to remove the ways that companies are found to game the search results and to try to make uh, sure that the search results that Google are providing to their customers are what are valuable and what their customers are looking for. So how do you improve your chances of ranking in that coveted number one or number two place? Well, one of the quickest and easiest ways of getting your position on the first page of Google is with the Google Places listing. If you do a search for a business in your local area, you'll most likely find a page that looks something like this. So this one was for personal trainers in near North Sydney. At the top of the page and to the right are the paid advertising through Google AdWords. Below the paid ads on the left, you'll see all of the Google Places listings and they all show, show up on the map to the top right. This is great free way to get your business listed on the first page of Google. And whether you've got a bricks and mortar or an online business, all you need to do is claim your listing. Once you've done that, you can then set up information, reviews, photos, videos, even coupons and special offers. It is like having a free mini website, but as I said previously, it's no substitute for having your own website. More importantly, think about this. If you do a search for a local business, you're usually about to buy something or you're doing research that will lead you to buy something. So these searches are a great way for you to put yourself in front of people who are ready to buy. It takes a little bit of time to set it up and it can be a bit fiddly. And once you've done that, you will need to encourage your customers to write reviews and importantly, keep an eye on what's being said. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later on. If you don't have a Google Places listing set up yet, then I'd suggest that you make this a priority for 2012. So what else can you do to attract visitors to your website? Well, Google's mission is to organize the world's information and make it universally acceptable and useful to their customers. To do that, they need to make sure, as I said before, that when you search for something and you're presented with the search results, that they're useful. So how does Google decide what to show and what's useful? Well, no one knows for sure because of that secret algorithm, which, as I already said, changes twice a day. But there are five indicators that Google does take into account. First of all, engagement. Now, this is things about what happens when people click on your, your website. What do they do when they're there? How long do they stay there? How many times do they come back and visit your website again? The second thing is then blocked results. And you may have seen this. If a, a website comes up in the search results and you click on that website, don't like what you see, or even if you do like what you see, you hit your browser, uh, the back button on your browser, and you go back to the search results, you'll see that that, uh, that website you just went to now has a line underneath that says, uh, block all results from this, this page. Um, and you can click on that, and that means that when you search again, that information isn't going to show up. Now, obviously, if a website gets a lot of those clicks um, from all different people, then perhaps Google will start to penalize that site because it's saying that it's not really providing the information that people are looking for. Social proof. So this is things like um, how many people are linking to your website because it's a really good source of information, uh, what sort of comments you get on any of your blog posts, how many shares, likes, um, plus ones you get. And this is um, a prediction that my, for me, I think is going to be become even more important and I'll talk about that a bit later on as well. Brand searches, so searches by name, and I think this is a great one for small business because often our small businesses are given a name. And uh, what a better thing than if someone, instead of searching, for example, for 
how to grow a business online, they start to search for the Kickstart biz because they know that that's exactly what the, the Kickstart biz offers. Um, so searches by brand name is another thing that Google looks for because it's all about giving you authority in that area. Another one here, this is a quick and easy one, but I want to give some practical tips here as well, but load speed. And this is a really quick thing that you can check for yourself. You simply go into pagespeed.googlelabs.com, type in your website address, and it will tell you exactly how fast your site is loading. And more importantly, the sorts of things that you or you could get your web developer to change for you to increase that load speed. Have you had a look at how your business is performing in each of these areas? Google Analytics provides you with a lot of valuable information about your website visitors. Uh, you can understand um, things like you know, with the current version, even how many people are right on your site live at that particular time. I talk to so many people who say, oh yeah, yeah, I've got Google Analytics. And then when I start to talk to them about what they do with it, they tell me that they really just don't understand all of the information that is um, available to them with Google Analytics. In fact, there is so much, it's absolutely amazing the things that you can learn um, about what's happening in your business, but too much to cover in this webinar. So perhaps that might be a topic for another day. As a business owner, you know how important your customers are. You should also know what problems they have and how what you do or the solutions that you offer solve those problems for you, for them. Once you know this, you can create products, services, content that your customers want. You'll know where to find them. You will talk their language. They will see you as the go-to person and they will trust you. All this leads to engaged customers who look for your brand, visit your website often, interact with you on social networks, promote your business to their friends, all of the things that Google are looking for. Okay, now let's talk about social networking for a bit. There are many social networks out there, Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, to name a few. But the two that I think are most worth investing some time in are Facebook and Google+. Why? Well, they're big for a start. As I said, Facebook has over 800 million users and Google Plus is tipped by some people uh, to hit 400 million in 2012. Both of them are good for business. You can advertise on both of them. You can have your own uh, business page as well as your own personal pages on there. Both are big in mobile. I'm going to talk about why that's important a bit later on. Uh, and they both help to build your reputation as an authority when your content is liked or shared. And uh, that is going to become even more important, as I mentioned, as Google has recently announced the integration of that very snappy phrase, search plus your world. Now, what that's all about is that rather than when you do a search, rather than just being presented with information from anywhere um, on the internet, you'll now be presented or have the option of also seeing information that your friends, network and community are sharing, posting, um, providing all throughout the internet. So I think that, as I said, this whole area of social search is really going to take off and be big in 2012. Right now, this uh, the new search plus your world is very controversial. You've probably seen lots of blog posts written about it, um, but it is big. And if it stays, I think it will be even bigger. So my money's on these two for 2012. I'm not saying there isn't a place for Twitter or LinkedIn or, or it, others. It really depends on your business. But if your time is limited, then as a small to medium business owner, I'd focus on these two as a starting point. Now I'd like to talk about customers for a bit. Businesses are already struggling with how to manage and interact with customers. In a recent survey, 77% of companies surveyed said they know who their social customers are, but 54% have not engaged with them. And I think this is a real opportunity for small business. 
We all know how difficult it is for big business to deal with customers. I mean, have you tried contacting a telco or a bank lately? Small to medium businesses are able to respond much quicker and more directly with customers. But you do need to manage your online reputation. If customers write reviews, good or bad, you really need to respond to them. You should set yourself up a Google alert and a Twitter alert for your name, business name, and maybe even your competitors, so that you're alerted whenever someone posts about you online. One way to build your reputation online as an authority, which again is becoming more and more important uh, because Google is starting to to recognize uh, authority and give authorship to people, um, is to uh, submit online press releases. Now, these can be picked up by online and also offline press and also end up in the news feed of Google. Um, it's a really simple thing to do and very, really powerful, particularly if you do them on a regular basis. So to get the customers, your customers choosing you over your competition, you need to choose the online platforms that are most appropriate for your business post consistent, high quality content and provide products and services that solve customer problems so that they recommend, like, review and share. Once again, exactly as we talked about with Google, the same with the social networks. Of course, this is easier said than done. As a small business owner, you're juggling a lot of roles and marketing manager is just one of them. You don't have time to stay up to date with all the latest Google updates, the Facebook changes, the SEO techniques, never mind finding time every day to post updates, write articles, respond to customer reviews, and do all of the other things you're supposed to do. You probably feel like you're running around in circles and half doing everything. One of my big recommendations for 2012 is to simplify. Do less, but do it well. If you've got the budget, you can hire a marketing team to do some of this for you. You can outsource your online marketing or hire a virtual assistant to manage it. You can pay someone to write articles for your blog and keep your website content fresh, even, if, even to manage your email campaigns. Many business owners are realizing that their time is better spent doing other uh, activities in their business, so they're hiring a virtual marketing manager to manage their online and marketing presence. The good news and the bad news is that it isn't going away. In fact, it's only going to get busier and even more time consuming. I read a report uh, just recently by Forrester Consultancy where they broke out spending estimates in two, between 2011 and 2016. And in the category of mobile, they are at, uh, predicting that mobile spend will be up 399%. Uh, social media spend will be up 214%. And that's just in the next five years. So mobile wireless is the fastest growing technology in the internet, according to the Australian Information Industry Association. Mobile usage is increasing, and not only for surfing, but making inquiries directly from your phone, uh, for shopping and soon buying directly from mobile devices. We're starting to see more QR codes around the place and it'll be interesting to see what impact they have. Um, you need to think about you know, what, how would you use them in your business to, to take advantage um, along with mobile technology. So a big growth area, I think, again for 2012 and beyond uh, is the whole area of mobile. Video is also huge online. YouTube gets over 3 billion views a day and over two days worth of video uploaded every minute. That is just phenomenal. No wonder Google own it. Um, I'm not sure if you've checked YouTube lately, but um, there are some new advertisements uh, coming that will be coming up um, and we'll be seeing them much more here in Australia. They're available internationally, but they're true view advertisements. So on a click per view basis, um, which means that when the advertisement, which is very targeted advertisement sent to you based on the sorts of things that you're searching for and looking at within YouTube, 
Uh, but those targeted advertisements, you then have the, as a, a viewer of the video, have the choice to either watch the whole advertisement or click away. And as the advertiser, you're only being charged for the click that the people, the, for the views that the people actually watch your, your advertisement all the way through, not just because it, it has appeared on, on YouTube. So again, I think that advertising on some of these other channels like YouTube uh, and just video in general, general for your site is going to be a big one in 2012. There's also even a YouTube analytics tool like Google Analytics. Um, and you know that again will provide a lot of really valuable information about what customers and potential customers are doing. And I can tell you, I'm sure that you've all seen this advertisement that went around um, last year, the Old Spice. But you know, I would certainly love to have 30, you know, nearly 38 million people viewing my advertisement on YouTube. That's for sure. But as a business owner, especially if you're just getting started or in the early years of growing your business, it's just not possible to do everything. How are you going to make the most of online marketing opportunities for your business in 2012? Do you have a clear plan for what you will give you the biggest bang for your buck? That's my buck on the screen, thought just in case you didn't pick that up. Uh, are you on top of the latest developments? Do you have a budget for your online marketing? Are you going to do it all yourself or are you going to look for some expert input? What if you were absolutely clear about how you're going to manage your online and social media activities in 2012? What if instead of fearing that you are missing out on the latest and the greatest, you knew that you had a strategy and an implementation plan that was going to grow your business and increase your bottom line profits? What if you knew exactly what you had to do and what you had to get done each month and how much it was going to cost you. Would you rest a little easier? Would you feel a little less overwhelmed by it all? I ran a marathon last year and in the lead up to race day, my running coach told me the main thing was to run my own race, to stick to my race plan and not get caught up in all of the excitement and the adrenaline rush. I had a plan that I knew would deliver my goal, which was to complete the marathon. And by sticking to that plan, I achieved my goal. Are you the sort of person who likes to get out in the lead and stay there? Do you have a game plan and you stick to it? Or are you someone who prefers to chase the crowd and get off on the adrenaline rush with the latest bright, shiny object? If so, then good luck with that. And I hope you don't hit the wall too soon. I'm sure you understand that the internet and social media are an essential part of business strategy and growth for small businesses. And you know you need to find a way that makes to make it work for your business without consuming all of your time and budget. As a small to medium business owner, you can't do everything, even if you wanted to. You're juggling a thousand things. You need to make the most of the internet to grow your business but you need to do that in a way that's manageable for you. Well, I can help you and I can help you because I get it. I'm a small business owner too. I bring over 20 years experience in corporate and management consulting to my business and to my clients. I've spent the last few years learning from some of the best known people in internet marketing. I've learned from James Schramko, Mike Rhodes, from, who does AdWords, Jen Sheehan, Facebook ads, Natalie Sisson, who's all about running uh, a lifestyle business online, and Tim Reed uh, from Small Business Big Marketing, to name drop just a few. <laughs> People who have made a lot of money, and more importantly, are ahead of the game. People who are immersed in the online world. I've learned a lot and that coupled with my business experience means that I've got a lot to share with, with you as a small business owner or someone aspiring to start their own business. People just like you. Imagine if we could wave a magic wand and see you and your business in 2012. Imagine if we saw you looking calm and in control, knowing that you have an easy, affordable way to manage your online activities month by month. Imagine seeing yourself tracking results, getting measurable changes in your business. Imagine seeing the pride in your face as you reach goals and start earning the income you deserve for the effort you're putting in. Most importantly, imagine if we could tap into your emotions 
and find a sense of peace and calm. Wouldn't that be great? Well, I've got something I'd like to share with you to help you achieve that. This is not a magic wand. Unfortunately, I don't have one of those in my toolkit. It's not an automated system that will drive hundreds of non-buying visitors to your website or get you lots of fans to like your Facebook page, but not actually buy anything that you're offering. <laughs> it's not a silver bullet and it's not a one size fits all solution. And it's certainly not going to come at the end of a very long sales letter that has you scrolling for 10 minutes to find out the price. What would it be worth to you to start 2012 with a very clear view of how you're going to make the internet deliver the best value for your business in a way that's easy, affordable and manageable? How much would that peace of mind be worth? You know how all consuming the internet and social media can be. You know how alluring those offers are that pop into your inbox. I get that you could spend all day reading, tweeting, following, watching and everything else that we do online, but unfortunately that doesn't always drive more business and more profit to our bottom line. It can be addictive though, and it's really hard to drag ourselves away. That's why I created what I call the Online Business Growth Plan. It's designed to assist business owners and aspiring entrepreneurs to have a step-by-step -step plan, a clear direction, allowing you to get the jump on your competition. I wanted to make it simple and easy to understand so that even people with no knowledge of online strategies can see how it will help them grow their business. It doesn't matter if you've never seen a business plan, if you've got no idea about online marketing. It's written in plain language and it's about your business, so you will understand it. Here's what you get. Your own tailored online business growth plan for 2012. It will include a market analysis covering the economic, social and competitive environment. It will include a SWOT analysis showing your strengths your opportunities for uh, business, where you are weak, and the potential threats. It will include a review of your current online and social media presence and priority areas for you to tackle. It will highlight the priority areas for your business that will give that will help you to increase your bottom line profits by thousands, tens of thousands, or even hundreds of thousands, depending on your starting point and your goals. It will also include an action plan and a budget that you can manage. Your plan will become your anchor in stormy seas. When you feel yourself starting to panic, you'll be able to revisit your plan, check your progress and get straight back on track. You'll know you're making progress um, because you'll be able to track and measure the results. You'll feel calm and in control. Okay, so what's this going to cost? Don't you hate it how this bit always takes so long to get to? Well, wait no more. You can have your very own online business growth plan in your hand for just $495. When you consider that some marketing consultants charge 5k plus for a plan similar to this, you'll see that this is a ridiculous price. So why am I offering it at this price? Because I want you to experience what it's like working with me. I know that when you get your online business growth plan, you'll be blown away because everyone is. I know that a plan is not worth anything unless you implement it. And I want you to be excited about implementing your plan. I also know that you might need some help implementing it and I can provide you with marketing packages to assist. It's a risk for me. I might do all the work researching and preparing a fantastic plan for you and there might be nothing more you need. But that's absolutely fine too, because you might tell someone else about my business and next year when you've increased your profits and you're ready to grow again, you'll remember me, think well of me and want to do business again. And that's how it works. But you know what? It doesn't really matter why I'm doing it. What matters is why you need it. Well, here's why. You want to grow your business in 2012 using online marketing. You're perhaps confused about where to spend your time and your budget, no matter how big or small. You don't have time to learn everything and keep up on top of all of the changes. You want someone you can trust to guide you and show you what you need to do. And most importantly, you need something that's absolutely relevant to your business and where you're at right now.
So here's how it works. Go to this link, thekickstartbiz.com forward slash go, where you can place your order and make a payment. You'll then be sent to a link to a short questionnaire to gather some information about your business. When you return the questionnaire, I prepare the report and send you a draft. If you've got questions about your report, we can schedule a phone call or a Skype call and I'll answer those questions. You implement and achieve the results. Simple. One of my clients is an artist in a remote part of Australia. She recognised that the online world that opened up a whole world of opportunities for her to sell her fabulous art to people all around Australia and the world, not just her small local community. She had a website already uh, and her art was for sale, but she had no buyers. She's very busy running her gallery and painting, which she loves, but she sees there is a big opportunity for her online and she didn't know where to start. I did a review of her old website, showed her what was working and what wasn't, I then worked with a web developer to redesign her website, making sure that this time it's designed to sell her art. I then prepared an online business growth plan for her, which we are implementing. She is excited about 2012 and ready to share her art with the world. But there is a catch. I can only make this offer available to 10 of you because these plans take a lot of work and I want to do a great job. I don't want to let you down by taking on more work than I can deliver. And as if the price isn't already incentive enough, $495, $200 of this will be credited towards your purchase of one of my online marketing packages. So remember, this $495 offer is only available until the first 10 are sold. After that, you'll have to pay a lot more or find the time to write the plan for yourself. Well, I hope that this has helped you think about your online strategy for 2012. It's exciting time for entrepreneurs like us. If you're ready to grow your business online in 2012 and want your own personal online business growth plan to give your business a kickstart, then go to thekickstartbiz.com forward slash go where you'll find more information and can sign up right away. Thanks for attending and listening and I would like to wish you and your business all the best for a successful 2012.